Thanks for joining us here at 7. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Denise Koch. Well, a candlelight vigil was held tonight for slain Safe Streets worker Kenyel Benny Wilson. He is being remembered as someone who wanted to make Baltimore a better place. WJZ is live tonight. Annie Rose Ramos was at that vigil and has much more on how the Cherry Hill community tonight, Annie Rose, is honoring Wilson. That's right, guys. This memorial just wrapped up. You can see some of the folks behind me. People here talked about the irreplaceable loss of Benny. They described a man who had a big smile, an even bigger heart, who now leaves a big, big hole in this Cherry Hill community. Laying down a candle in memory of the life of Kenya Wilson, known as Benny. My husband loved Cherry Hill. Listen, I want you to understand that. Born and raised here. Wilson, a safe streets worker, was shot Thursday evening and drove himself wounded to Harborview Hospital nearby, where he died a short time later. We know he was in his vehicle when he got shot. We don't know if he was stopped, if he was talking to someone. The 44 year old was a violence interrupter for nearly nine years in Cherry Hill. Police calling this investigation their top priority. I mean, at this point, we don't have much to go on. We're hoping somebody saw the vehicle. Uh, we're hoping somebody heard the gunshots. As this community mourns the loss of one of their own. Stop playing if you think we're going to forget Benny. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Benny. Thank you, Safe Street Cherry Hill. Thank you, Safe Street Citywide. We see you. We love you. And Nicole, Benny leaves behind a wife and 11 children. Reporting live at 7 from Cherry Hill, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.